Believe it or not, the CDC's latest guidance around holiday gatherings includes this line. Avoid singing or shouting, especially indoors. Loud voice projection was identified early in the pandemic as a spreader of coronavirus. Professional concert singers, church choirs, and high school glee clubs fell silent or moved online. In our Sunday Spotlight, Harry Smith visits one chorus that has found a creative way to make their voices heard. Choir practice like this, we're guessing you've never seen before. Boston's Chorus Pro Musica in a parking lot singing Brahms while in their cars and darned happy about it. Because singing in a group is highly dangerous, a potential super spreader event, choruses have been silenced since spring. Jamie Kirsch is the Pro Musica director. What we love to do became kind of a, one of the most dangerous things that you can do, uh, and it was really uh, extremely difficult. But as victory over the virus relies on science, so too a little technology has provided the pathway to this parking lot performance. We love to make music as a family. We started wanting to bring people to our house. We knew we couldn't bring them inside, but we thought maybe we could have them in their own cars, and Bryce had figured out a way to get us all to be able to hear each other. Sharon? I'm here. Bryce Denny is an engineer, and Catherine is a musical director. The chorus, connected by lots of wires, a sound mixer, and a tiny FM transmitter. Choose a frequency that's not used by any radio station, and you broadcast on that. And so that way, everyone can hear the output. They can hear the, the choir through the radio. The Denny's got the idea from a chorus director in Virginia, but Just Bryce has taken it to the next level. It's live. Woo! All right. <laughs> He's posted how-to videos and schematics so others, like Somerset Hills Harmony in New Jersey, can be socially distant and still achieve harmonic convergence. We started with four people in four cars, and here we are with a lot of people. And there are several people in Massachusetts who have made their own systems and are using them weekly with their choruses. It's great. Have you gotten goosebumps? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And when I'm conducting a group, I really feel as if I have singers in front of me. You know, you just kind of have to, who is that in the Subaru, you know? <laughs> Fueled by the family's passion for music, many a weekend the Denny's load their contrivance into the SUV, sharing their know-how free of charge. <laughs> we got it. I've missed it so much. It's our heart and our soul. It means a lot. I take so much pleasure from, from sharing it with other people. The music performed that afternoon was the Brahms Requiem, which is less about mourning than it is an anthem to life itself. A reason to sing. Why don't you give yourselves a huge round of applause? For Sunday today, Harry Smith, Newton, Massachusetts.